Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial series of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how we can use this multimeter to check if your speaker is in a working condition or not. So basically, I'll show you two methods. The first method would be the continuity mode. So just put your meter in continuity mode. As you can see here, the symbol indicates continuity mode. And then uh, take the probes of your multimeter and you have to check for continuity between the two terminals of your speaker. Now it doesn't matter where you place the probes, meaning there is no polarity here. You can just uh, check for continuity across the terminals of your speaker. And when you do that, you should see the values here should decrease and you might also hear a continuity sound. It's okay even if the continuity sound is not there, but if the value here decreases, it means there is a continuity uh, between the two terminals and your speaker's coil is intact and it is working fine. Now there is another method which you can uh, double check to make sure your speaker is working, but let me check the continuity test on a damaged speaker so that you will get an idea on uh, how it would be if the speaker is damaged. So again, continuity mode, how across the two terminals of a speaker but as you can see the value is not changing meaning there is a disconnection in the coil inside the speaker so the speaker will not work we can discard it now uh, the second method which I told you is to use the square wave function of your multimeter not many people are aware of it but this square wave uh, can be used to check if your speaker is working or not it acts as an audio source so all you have to do is connect your speaker to an amplifier module like this one which I have already done you can use any amplifier module uh, which needs an audio signal so this audio signal will be given by the multimeter in square wave mode once you have put that uh, take your probes and then uh, keep your black probe on the ground and the red probe as the signal for your amplifier. When you do that, you will hear a humming sound on your speaker made to make sure your speaker is working. As you can see, this makes this ensures that your speaker is working. So uh, that is the two methods which you can use to check if your speaker is working or not. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.